afternoon, YouTube family. It is Shirley coming to you with her bear hat. Happy month of December, you guys. We made it. We are alive and well. And we should be quite grateful that we're here. How is everything coming along for you guys? Are you guys losing your mind like me? Are you guys running around just wandering all over the place like me? I've been everywhere. I've been to Deep Dollar Tree. I've been to Ross. I've been to the mall. Just all over the place for no reason. Just running around. But I enjoy it. I, I enjoy every bit of it. And it's just going to get more hectic and more chaotic. But I am grateful for the month. I am grateful for being alive. It's so festive. And it's, it's a happy time for me. I know a lot of people be so upset or depressed or saddened and things of that nature. But life is too short for that. Okay. I am doing a Christmas tag, you guys. I just decided I wanted to find a tag. And I just YouTube did and I found something and and I've decided to do it. Now I need to give credit to the woman that had the tag. It's uh Gula G I U L I A. I will obviously have her link down below, but that's where I got this tag from and I decided to um just go for it. It's 17 questions. So the first question is, what is your favorite Christmas film? It, it has always been um, Macaulay Culkin, you know, all, well, all the three of them, of Housewarming, if I'm correct. No, Home Alone. Yeah, Housewarming. Number two, have you ever had a white Christmas? No. I've never had a white Christmas ever. And because of that, I, you know, we live here very close to the equator, practically hug it throughout the entire year. And down here in South Florida, we don't have a white Christmas, which is fine. We learn to adapt and be okay with that. Three, where do you usually spend your holidays? We normally, I would say 80% of the time, we'll spend it here at home because of the children. We try not to do too much traveling with them and they love to be home so that they can open up their own presents here. Sometimes we'll go out of town, but not all the time. What is your favorite Christmas song, The Twelfth Day of Christmas? I know the whole song, and I would do it now, but then I, don't, I wouldn't want to drag the recording that long. But that is my ultimate favorite song. From the all the way, the twelfth all the way to the first. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No. We are really strict on not opening up any kind of presents until Christmas Day, Christmas morning. Can you name all of Santa's reindeers? No, not anymore. My mind is shot. Seven, what holiday tradition are you looking forward to the most this year? This year, my sister wanted to do something new, traditional, some type of thing that the children would do together. Um, and I think we're all are, I don't know if we're going to uh, traditionally start making cookies since that's the thing this year. We're making cookies and they'll make their own cookies from scratch. I think it's that or something with, um, something with baking, but I think it's the cookies. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's fake. And I've been using the same tree for the past four years. We have a lot of allergies here in the home, so we can't have a real tree. Number nine. What is your all-time favorite holiday slash um, holiday food slash sweet treat? It's eggnog. And, and it used to be Borders, but Borders changed their formula on, on the, the eggnog. You know, the one that came in the can, brown and yellow, I think. Yeah, it's Borders, and um, they've changed it. So me and a whole lot of people online have been protesting to see if they could revert the, you know, return the old formula back because a lot of people, that's the only kind of eggnog they could drink. That's the only one that I can drink, too. 
And I, I hope that they could do it right now. What's in the fridge is MacArthur. And my kids and husband love the MacArthur eggnog, but I don't. It tastes funny. Number 10, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I like to give gifts. I, I prefer giving gifts before receiving them. 11. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Well, this would be back in the 1800s when I was, I'm going to say 12 or 10. And I was sleeping. And I got a Magnum Box television. My own TV in my own room back in 92 or 91. And... Um, they set it up while I was sleeping and I woke up with them making all of this noise, fixing the TV. And then after they finished fixing the TV, we had our Nintendo. That was like the best moment of my child. Well, not the best. It was several best moments. But I remember that Christmas clear as day. I got a TV and I also got a Nintendo in my own room. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. 12. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? I wanted to go to New York to visit my cousin so that the kids would have a snow experience, cold weather and stuff like that. You know, go out there and Rockefeller and see the tree, do some kind of ice skating and go visit Macy's. But we'll do that another time. Uh, this year, I'll take them to the cabins so hopefully it snows new year's so that they could experience snow absolutely so where am i already lost my 13. are you a pro present rapper or or do or do you no are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably i'm in the middle I'm really good with certain boxes. If it if it's rectangular, I'm okay. But if it has any kind of other shapes, it's going to take some time. But I'm not miserable at it. 14, most memorable holiday moment. Oh my gosh. Um, it would be anything with the children in it. Okay, yes, last year, uh, their aunt, Auntie Nett, came as Santa Claus. Was that last year? Let's say last year or the year before that, she dressed up as Santa Claus and she was downstairs very still by the tree. And the kids were scared. <laughs> she was so stiff. And then I was trying to encourage them. They were happy. And then finally, <laughs> they were excited afterwards. But it was, it was amazing. That, it had to be last year or the year after that. That was pretty cool. Fifteen. What made you realize the truth about Santa? What made you realize the truth about Santa? I sent Santa a letter back in '89, and I got no response. And then I think by that age, eight or nine, I was like, okay, he's not. They didn't take it to the North Pole. Something's up. Do you? make new year's resolutions do you stick to them yes i do i do my resolutions they're not major or like uh really difficult to do normally it has something to do with my health me losing certain weights especially if it's a health concern like high cholesterol I would, that's a goal of mine is to make sure i reduce that that will obviously be something that i would always work on and any other projects, any other new projects that I was thinking about doing, I'll definitely try to do that. And I do like an evaluation in the month of June or July to see if I've accomplished the goal. I normally write all of that stuff down in my planner. All right. And the last question is 17. What makes the holiday special for you? Um, family. You know, being with the kids and having it being festive and... Everywhere, it's, everybody's almost on the same tune, the church and the schools, and everybody's in more of a nice, cheerful spirit. 
And I, I love that. I love when everybody's able to sink and everybody understands. Well, most of everybody. A lot of people are depressed, sad, you know, got family in the hospital and, you know, life actually still occur. You know, people are dying and things of that nature. So just try to keep yourself uplifted and try to still remember the reason for the season. So that's really the main uh, thing that I wanted to say. So just wanted to do this tag for the holidays. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of of the month of december cherish every moment it goes by so fast so you guys just just cherish each moment that you have and i will see you guys very soon